Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, ayan, finally nag-start na. Okay, so for today, hopefully mo manjo na to dears, this is the main bulk na of virology. So we'll start now with the families of viruses. Ayan. So as I've mentioned sa mga first parts sa tong lectures, usually in the board exam dili kayo mugawas ang viro. <laughs> so, pasalamat lang yung kananay mugawas na 1 to 4 questions, both micro and viro. Inana siya ka neglected, no? One of the neglected yun na mga areas sa board exam. Um, and, uh, pero feel ako, because of this pandemic, maybe in the future sa inyong boards or in the succeeding board exam, mas dagan ng questions na mugawas sa virology. So far, ako ma-remember from my friends who took the board exam uh, recently, sa March and also mga kaila na po, wala kaayoy ni Gawas pa daw from Vero. Wala pa gani daw ni Gawas about COVID. Uh, that's according to them. As of March 2021. I'm not sure lang karong January 2022 kung unsay mo Gawas and also sa March 2022. But so far daw, wala pa ni Gawas about COVID-19. So hopefully, I, I think maybe in the future sa inyo hang time ba si Naana. So, but anyway, I, I was I was thinking yun na ay mo Gawas about COVID-19 sa mga recent board exam. Pero from my kaila, so far wala pa daw ni Gawas. Alright. And also, um, for COVID-19 in a lecture years, dili pa tamo emphasize during the PITA, alright? Because this is still the general pa na mga virology topics, especially mga viruses and all that, and their families and all that. If na patay time within the SEM, we'll have a separate lecture on COVID-19. But if not, then sa second SEM na lang. So base na ay reviewer, lecturer na invite for that para mas uh, intense ang discussion. Okay? Alright. So for now, ano lang ta? More on the basics and the general topics, concepts about virology, especially sa viruses. Alright. So for now, again, we have... I sorry. I so. <laughs> for now, we have um, actually started now with the basic uh, katong concepts in virology sa first two parts. So again, if wala pa mukha view, please view them. Okay, very important po to siya. Um, for now, we're going now to discuss the different families no, and different types of viruses. All right? Starting first with the DNA viruses. All right? Don't forget your attendance, the ideas ta, uh, for, uh, for both sections. Nara sa yung soul na section. Okay, now we're going now to the DNA viruses. All right? Now again, if you have watched our pre-recorded lectures, our first two parts, always take note, diba? I have emphasized that viruses can only have one genome, either Either DNA or RNA, and never both. Please take note, dear sa nako. What if you question sa boards or sa inyong exam, no? Which of the following is true about? Which of the following is true about viruses? Okay, so take note. Iyahang genome is either either lang ha, either DNA or RNA, and never both. Okay, so either lang. All right. So we'll focus more or we'll focus first on the DNA viruses. Now, for the DNA viruses, their replication happens in the host cell or nucleus. Sorry, in the nucleus because again, their genome is the DNA, and the DNA needs to be inside the nucleus para ma integrate sa si mohang chromosome or dito sa i replicate. Okay, and then from DNA, may mo siyang RNA, no? Yung ifollow ang normal replication na nahitabo sa host cell. So recall sa inyo hang bio chem, inyo hang bio sa una, di ba? Replication DNA, di ba? Inside the nucleus, and then transcription happens there, and then mRNA maadto sa cytoplasm, and then mRNA will be translated to become protein. So in anang gina follow po sa inyo hang Viruses. Of course, iya hamang gina hijack, no? Iya hamang gina hitch, no? Or yung ginagamit yun ang machinery sa mga hang cells. So para mo replicate. So therefore, yung gamiton yun ang normal processes sa mga hang cells para sa mga replicate. All right. Now again, sa nucleus of the cell yung replication except for again pox viruses. All right. Ang pox viruses it happens in the cytoplasm. All right. Now capsid again may be icosahedral or helical. Or complex, meaning non-conforming, meaning dili siya helical, dili po siya icosahedral. Pwede mo assume siya different shapes. Now, the ether sensitive, of course, are the enveloped viruses. Because again, remember that viruses that are enveloped, ilahang envelope is made up of usually phospholipids or gikan siya sa cell membrane of your host cell. And remember that your cell membrane consists of fats, di ba? Phospholipids. And these are polar molecules. So therefore, they can also be destroyed or 
be solved by your polar solvent, such as your ether. So those that are enveloped viruses, they are ether sensitive. The smaller the DNA virus, of course, the more dependent the virus is in the host cell. Because again, gamay ra yahang genome, so gamay ra po siya na virus. So mas kailangan siya more um, guidance, charot, <laughs> more na nutrients from the host cell. Ayan. Now, pox viruses is, is considered to be the largest among all the viruses. Okay? Not only DNA, pero siya yun ang kinadakan. Siya pinakadak sa tanang virus, regardless if DNA or RNA na siya. The largest of all the viruses of humans and the most complex food. Alright? The pox virus. Parvovirus is the smallest among the DNA virus. Okay? So, take note of that. No? So, pox virus, the largest virus in the whole in, in all of the viruses affecting humans. And parvo virus is the only, uh, the smallest DNA, spe specific yun, smallest DNA. All right. So there was a recall in the board exam, I think, 20, time lang, Ma'am Lera, uh, 2015, 2015? Um, no, March, katong after September 24, 2015, there was a recall question, very easy lang, uh, sa micro para, which of the following is the largest virus affecting humans? Press the buzzer. On the answer, pox virus. All right. Now for DNA viruses pa lang daan dears, no. Makabalo pa makabalo na mo sa DNA viruses pa lang. Okay na yung life sa Viro. Charot. <laughs> okay. Because makabalo na kana tanang 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 DNA viruses. Again, not any mnemonics for that. All right? And those viruses outside of the mnemonics, of course, sila na ang RNA virus o di ba? Agad-agad. So I'll share my mnemonics to you. This is from my review center naman. So credits very effective then. So I think na share na ako ni sa mga students, uh, sa akong students. Uh, akong mnemonics is Papa, add po, hehe. <laughs> so di ba if nakai crush? Ayan. Nakai pareto sa si mga friend. <laughs> so Facebook, di ba mo request ka na magpapa add po, hehe. Okay. So unsa may meaning sa Papa, add po, hehe? Pa stands for your parvo viridae. Your another pa stands for papova viridae. And your Papova viridae is con composed of two families, your um, Papilloma viridae and Polyoma viridae. Okay? Your ad stands for Adeno viridae. Hala, wait sa. Ako na lang ni I. Ako na lang ni siya ipa. Ako i-rewrite. There's kay Murag medyo dilikano. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, take note of the mnemonics. No, Papa add po. Hey, hey. I'm sure na share si Ma'am Fardo na mnemonics, pero mas ma-confuse mang gugo siyang mnemonics. Sorry, Ma'am Fatch. Pero... <laughs> Ayan, Papa add po. Hey, hey. Di ba, if bigaon ka, yes. Magpapa add po. Hey, hey. Charot. <laughs> okay. So again, uh, pa, first pa stands for parvo. Another pa is for papova. And your Papova viridae consists of two families, Papilloma and Polyoma. All right? Your ad stands for Adeno. Okay? PO or PO stands for Pox. The first HE stands for Herpes viridae. And then the last is for Hepa DNA. All right? Ayan. So that's all our... DNA viruses. So, kani palang daan, if na-memorize na nimo, carry na good, alright? Because all the viruses outside of these are now considered your RNA viruses. O, di ba? Inanan lang siya ka-easy ang life sa Viro. Charot, checka. Okay, so again, Papa add po, hehe, Parvo Viridae, Papova Viridae, which consists of both Papilloma and Polyoma Viridae, your Adeno Viridae, your Pox Viridae, the Herpes Viridae, and lastly, your Hepa DNA Viridae. Alright? So, kani palang daan, Keri na. Okay? Now, take note. Baka lumabas sa exam. Baka nga lumabas. Which of the following is a DNA virus? Number one, papova. Number two, papilloma. Number three, herpes. Number four, pico RNA. Number five, toga viridae. So, take note of that. Kung kinsag yun, ang mga DNA virus. So, your mnemonics will save you. Okay? So, take note of this. Ha? Papa-add po. Hehe. Okay. Very effective until na makaremember pa ko. So, these are your DNA viruses. Okay. All right. So we'll start with the different families of your uh, DNA viruses. Starting first, um, I joke, take note. Sorry, sorry. Napaday ni siya, take note. Very important, kinsa itong mga enveloped and unenveloped. So diri palang daan, ato nang na-classify. Kinsa itong envelope, the HEPA, DNA viridae, your herpes viridae, and the pox viridae. So silang 
uh, families among the DNA viruses ang enveloped. Okay, the rest are unenveloped. And another one kinsa tong single-stranded DNA virus, your parvo virus. So take note of that. So ni mga distinct characteristic ha. So take note kinsa tong mga enveloped, kinsa tong na ay single-stranded DNA virus. And again, the mnemonics of course very handy mnemonics natin. The papa add po. Hehe, di ba? So very relatable. So sure ko makarelate mo tanan, chara. <laughs> Especially sa mga ano yan, mga kapwas, chara. Okay. Kaya lang nakita rin ni Dears, nabasa ra. Ang papaad po, hehe. Okay ra? Were yes. Were you able to take note? Okay. Alright. So very useful ha. Sure ko magamit niyo sa yung kompre. Please, please join. Memorize. Kaya rin na. Okay. Alright. Now we go now to the first family of your DNA viruses, which is your adenoviridae. Your adenoviridae are actually double-stranded DNA genome. Icosahedral capsids. When we say icosahedral again, medyo complex iyang shape or more cube-like iyang shape. And again, wala siya envelope. So therefore, this is already the capsid. Okay? And then the genome. So therefore, it's very, very resistant to a lot of detergents to the environment because again, the capsid is made up of protein. No, When you have the envelope, man good, the envelope is much more sensitive to a lot of uh, uh, environmental you know, abuses and mga detergents and all that. But if you have the capsid lang, wala kay envelope, naka tong lipid uh, membrane, all right, or made of fats, mas resistant ka to a lot of uh, temperature changes and also mga environmental changes. All right. Now, there could be about 50 human serotypes, actually about 52, all right, um, and they have oncogen oncogenic potential in animals pero not in humans, meaning possible siya makakos of cancer sa imuhang animals. So the virus is again adenovirus, uh, 52 distinct serotypes, all right, and the serotypes are divided into subgroups a to G. All right. Now, the main mode of transmission is direct contact, all right, or respiratory droplets and fecal matter on hands and fomites, all right, such as towels and medical instruments. They can also be transmitted through contaminated uh, or inadequately chlorinated na swimming pool, all right, and mga pond, so through water, all right, so direct contact of infected the mga material. All right, now for diseases, it can cause a wide range of diseases, uh, but the most common is usually sa upper respiratory tract, no, pharyngitis, no, sore throat. Also, it can cause pharyngoconjunctival fever, meaning pharyngitis plus napajukai conjunctivitis or sore eyes. Ayan. Now, very important is it can cause swimming pool conjunctivitis. It can also cause your um, follicular conjunctivitis or also known as your pink eye. Ayan, ako. Very important yun. And aside from that, it can cause disseminated disease, hemorrhagic cystitis, and gastroenteritis for children. But again, that's not common. Pinaka-common yun are usually the upper respiratory tract infections and usually sa eyes. Okay? And again, take note that your adenovirus is the most common cause of viral conjunctivitis. Okay? So adenovirus yun usually ang cause, Anna. The most common cause of viral um, conjunctivitis. All right. Now, histologic hallmark. Again, it has a CPE, <laughs> your Certified Public Accountant, Chara Chakala. Your CPE cytopathologic effect, similar to CMV. So, na siya owl's eye inclusion, usahay, alright? And the site of latency is the lymphoid tissue, the tonsils, adenoids, and Peyer's patches. That's why it's called adenoviridae because it was first isolated from the adenoids or sa tonsils. Okay? Ayan. Now, unique feature again, it can cause um, disseminated infections sa mga military recruits, no? Because again, mas dali siyang mas spread if close contact mo. So therefore, mas dali siyang mas spread sa mga close contact na environment such as sa military camps, no? Or mga dugol na areas. Ayan. Now for diagnosis, of course, we can culture this. Ayan. Using uh, HEP2 and other continuous cell lines. Of course, after cell culture, we confirm that by immunofluorescence or enzyme immunoassays. Alright? And for gastroenteritis, serotypes 40 to 41, we have... Um, Enzyme immunoassay. Adenovirus, uh, serotype 40 to 41 years, sila ang makakos sa gastroenteritis. So take note of that. Adenovirus, serotype 40 to 41. And ilahang characteristic CPE, aside from uh, the CMV, like na CPE, is kanin siya. Grape-like clusters, ayan. Swollen cells, grape-like clusters. So mara siya staphylococcus, charot. Ayan. So grape-like clusters, ayan. Mara siya grapes. So these are cells sa imuhang cell culture na nag-clump together, alright? And that is their characteristic CPE. 
Okay. All right. Of course, um, more symptoms are more severe. Symptoms are more severe in the immunocompromised patients. All right. Um, there could be also, since nasa site of latency, pwede siyang ma-reactivate in the future. Okay. And may persist in these tissues for a long period of time. Okay. So, nasa latency uh, and may persist for a long period of time. So, that's your adenoviridae. Another very important um, uh, function of your adenoviridae, dears, is that it can be used as a viral vector. Okay. So, uh, for therapy for vaccines. So, I'm sure you are familiar with that sa mga vaccines sa COVID-19 na mga vaccines na viral vector vaccine. And ang ilang ginagamit na vectors is your adenovirus. So, again, ito na i-discuss later towards the end part na tayo ano-ano. Chica, all right, some viral vectors. So that's for the Adeno VD day. So very short lang, dears. Again, ano lang ta? Um, pinaspasan, <laughs> paspasan na, yes. <laughs> ano lang, those mga important stuff. What you have to remember again, Adeno VD day is non enveloped. Okay, take note of that. Most common cause of conjunctivitis. You have also pink eye, all right. Um, and aside from that, um, grape like clusters of CPE. Diba, there's also a bacteria that can cause pink eye. Kinsa ganito? Makakosog pink eye. Hemophilus Egyptius. Okay, yung galing. Very good. Your Hemophilus Egyptius. Okay, take note of that. All right, very good. Okay, so again, that's for the adenoviridate. So mostly, usually, upper respiratory tract, good, and sa eyes. All right. Now, here's a summary of all the serotypes that can cause disease. Take note, take note, take note. Naasay? Yan. Obesity and adipogenesis. So na ay adenovirus. adipogenesis or the formation of fats and also it promotes increased glucose absorption no so that is your serotype 31 and 36 take note of that 31 and 36 they are attributed to obesity so nako oh di ba ako ibaro ang lines ni Dean Rodriguez ko ako ang board of examiner tatanong ko to charot ayan which of the following viruses has been implicated to be a cause of obesity. Okay. So if wala yung specify na serotype, dears, of course, atong answer kay adenovirus. Pero if na ay serotype, you have 31 or 36. Pero mainly, your dears, 36. Okay. Take note of that. Ha? Very, very important. All right. So that's for the first DNA virus, your adenovirus. Okay. Adenoviridae. All right. Next, you have your Hepa DNA viridae. Ayan. So, sa pangalan pa lang, dears, makabalo na ka na, DNA virus siya. Na nasa pangalan, oh, DNA. Ayan. That's why, um, uh, sa una, when I was a student, ako, ako pag-pronounce anis, of course, Hepa na viridae. But again, through my, one of my mentors, good, and my idol, Sir Jebu, uh, iyang, iyang pag-pronounce ato, sa mong IS lab, na shook me kay, hala bitaw, no? Pwede mo na siya yun, Ana, para mag-guide ka to remember na, ah, okay, yeah, DNA virus day siya. So that's how I pronounce it now. I hope it will help you also. It's your HEPA DNA viride. So it can already give you an idea na, ah, okay, it's a DNA virus, HEPA DNA viride. And also HEPA prefix, it means it infects the liver. O, di ba? Ayan. Of course, your HEPA DNA viride, pleomorphic, partly double-stranded. Take note, partly double-stranded lang siya, dears. Meaning, dili siya, dili complete DNA yun ang double-stranded. Aside from that, icosahedral capsid, and the entire complete infectious virion is also known as the Dane particle. Nako, my God, very important talaga. Review na po niya sa inyong IS and also Vero. Now, especially sa IS, mga serology na to for hepatitis B. And again, very important, it has a surface antigen known as your HBSAG, which is also known as the Australia antigen. So why is it called Australia antigen? Because this HBSAG was first discovered in Australian aborigines, meaning katong mga indigenous people dito. All right, so that's why it's called Australia antigen. Do you remember kinsa yung nakadiscover sa hepatitis B? Kinsa man ito nakadiscover ni hepatitis B? Hala, parang hindi na, parang hindi na mention, sir. <laughs> Kinsa man to? Kinsa man nakadiscover sa imuhang hepatitis B? Si? Si Magellan, sir. Charwa, check. <laughs> Kinsa man? Si? Si Baruch, sir. Okay, doctor? Ayan, si doctor. Blumberg. Very good. Dr. Baruch or Baruch Blumberg. Alright, or Dr. Baruch. Very good, tama. That's why it's also called hepatitis B. Okay, na discover siya ni Dr. B, Dr. Baruch. Okay, very good. Okay, so again, uh, the only virus found in this family is, of course, your hepatitis B 
virus, HBV. Now, main mode of transmission is, of course, bloodborne, no? bloodborne pathogen, uh, or through blood, no? contaminated blood, using of needles, blood transfusion. No? But again, it can also be transmitted sexually, all right? It can also be transmitted perinatally, all right, from mother to fetus. And also, percutaneous injection or kanang mga needle stick injuries. That's why kita medtex, we are very, very uh, re necessary, Jude. We are very necessary. We are necessary <laughs> to really have the vaccine for HBV. Take note, Jude, dears. Kailangan yun. It saved my life, no? So, sa akong mga students before, nakachika na ako na na-prick ko before sa Galiares, no? Um, when I was an intern. So, I was really uh, scared. <laughs> and so, uh, pag-check sa akong blood, taas akong tighter for um, anti, uh, taas akong titer sa anti-HBS. So, wala na ko gihatag ang prophylaxis. Ang gihatagan ako is prophylaxis sa HIV. Okay? But because I was allergic to the tamba, like nang hubag dyan akong nawong, and then as in, gista pa ang prophylaxis for HIV. And thankfully, okay naman yata ako. That was three years ago. I'm still alive din naman. So, hope, I think wala na. Limpi rin to siya na patient. <laughs> not, not to discriminate ha, pero like, uh, okay na iyahang ano ba? Uh, iyahang state, no? Uh, negative rapport yung mga STIs and all that. So, atong patient kung asa ko na prick, no? So, na prick yung ko after using the needle there. So, inana ko kadangag. So, sorry, don't follow me, ha? Pasensya. Okay. Nakachikan ako, ani sa akong bang students. Uh, sa akong students before. So, do not follow me, good. So, pinahot nung ito sa kakapoy or gadali na lang yung go kay 16 hours to na duty. And then, mga alas dusi to siya, wala pa ko yung panihapon. <laughs> okay, ayan. Anyway, ayan. So, that's for HBV. Chika lang, share ko lang. Do not, ha? Do not, do not, good. Do not follow me. Medyo mo paprik, especially sa hospital. Alright, please. Scary, scary. Okay. Ayan. So, that's for transmission. Again, kita, we are very much exposed to it. Alright, because we process a lot of samples. Now, for diseases, of course, wag nang maisip na siya sa liver, so it can cause hepatitis. It can cause a lot of hepatitis. Number one, it can be acute, alright, with resolution, meaning na okay ra siya. No, wala ra nag, na complicate. Okay? Another is, it can also have chronic hepatitis. So, kanisya na hepatitis, virus, pwede siyang mag chronicity, meaning pwede siyang mo persist for a long period of time. Sana all. Charot. And it can also have an asymptomatic carrier. So meaning wala rin na feel ang patient pero the virus is, in its, is inside. And for chronic infections, pwede siyang mo, mo proceed or pwede siyang mo proceed to hepatocellular carcinoma and also end-stage liver cir cirrhosis. So very, very important to take note, dears. What you need to take note about the hepatitis viruses, kinsa itong makakosong mga hepatocellular carcinoma. So, na natin number one, si HBV, no? Hepat hepatitis B virus. Now, how do we diagnose? Of course, most of the time in routine laboratory, it's through serology. So, we look at the different serologic markers of your hepatitis B. Okay, aside from that, of course, we use PCR. Um, and aside from that, we can also quantitate the HBV DNA in your serum, which is uh, the best indication of active viral replication. Because the presence of your um, DNA in serum, it means the virus is constantly replicating. So take note of the serologic markers. <laughs> Dear, I na not know i intensify or discuss on serologic markers because I, I'm sure na discuss na siya sa IS lab. And IS put last last SEM. Okay? So, I hope, I hope. Review na lang that. And of course, um, next SEM sa IS, of course, mugawas yun na. Very common yun yung mga serologic markers of your HBV. Okay? So, take note, this is the complete infectious virion. There are other virion uh, shapes such as your spherical or en elongated. But these shapes are <clears throat> the non-infectious particles of your um, hepatitis B. Okay? So, take note of that. And of course, the markers. Ayan. Ako na lang isyo ang table. Of course, the HBSAG, the HBAG, anti-HBC, anti-HBS, and anti-HBE. Now, how do I remember? Ako na lang i-share ang mnemonics. Nachika po na ako ni sa kong IS students last SEM. Ako mnemonics for that. The appearance of your markers in serum it starts with your HBSAG. And followed by HBE antigen. Followed by anti-HBC. Followed by anti-HBE. And then finally, anti HBS. Last ang anti-HBS, dears. Take note. So, how do I remember? Si hepatitis B daw, kay mo journey siya sa earth. Okay? So, sa sugod sa earth, magsugod siya sa surface. Okay? Next sa surface is the earth mismo. And then, followed by, naabot na siya sa core. Okay? So, naabot na siya sa core. Pag umat niya sa core, sa earth, <laughs> mabalik na siya gawas. So, from core, ang next sa core is katong earth. And then, finally, next na pod is 
the surface. So I hope <laughs> na gets to ato ang mnemonics for the appearance of markers. So si hepatitis B daw kay mo journey siya sa earth, okay? Magsugod siya sa surface, all right? Followed by the earth mismo and then followed by the core. After mabot niya sa core, mo balik na siya gawas. So core after sa core, earth na po, and then finally, your surface. So how do, para na siya sa atong mnemonic. So meaning, magsugod sa HBSAG, followed by earth, HBE antigen, followed by core, anti-HBC na, alright? And then followed by another earth, anti-HBE, and then finally, the surface balik, anti-HBS. Alright? So that's my mnemonics for that. So, sa appearance of markers. Okay? Kay base ni pamutan na mo, what is the earliest marker for an HBV infection? Of course, it's your HBS antigen. Alright? Take note of that. Now, please take note, anti-HBC IgM, take note lang, dears, this is a marker for the core window period of your infection. Take note, anti-HBC IgM. Alright? Another one, HBE antigen is a marker for high infection. Activity. Ayan. Meaning, if present siya sa imuang serum, the patient is highly infectious. Okay? Take note of that. Alright? And of course, HBSAG is a marker of acute infection and also pwede pong chronic infection or chronic carrier. Alright? Anti-HBS is a marker of immunity. Okay? From vaccination or from natural infection. Okay? Take note there sa akong mag mention Very, very important. Anti-HBC IgM, a marker for the window period. HBSAG, a marker of acute infection and also pwedeng chronic carrier. HBE antigen is a marker of high infectivity, meaning if this is present, the patient is highly infectious. Anti-HBS is a marker for immunity from vaccination ba or um, natural infection. That's why if after ito magpa-vaccine sa HBS, anti, uh, sa hepatitis B, ang ginamonitor is anti-HBS. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, sorry, sorry. Okay, ayan, sige. Alright, so that's for the the first uh, hepatitis virus. Your hepatitis B virus, on sana family, hepa DNA viride. Alright. Next, we go now to the herpes. Ayan, herpes viride. Alright. Um, your herpes simplex na viruses or your human herpes Viruses, HHV, HSV. Okay, all right. Now, your herpes very day, as you can see, it's enveloped. All right. Now, that's why, if enveloped siya, therefore, it is ether sensitive. Diba, we have mentioned na ka mga enveloped viruses, sila ang ether sensitive. Ano ganito? Because ang ilahang envelope, it is made up of, what's man to? Made up of, um, it's made up of lipids, no? Phospholipids. So, they are polar. So, therefore, like charges attract each other, Polar charges no, or polar solvents will also dissolve the envelope. All right. Now, very, very important characteristic of the herpes viride family dears is their ability to establish latency. Meaning, pwede na sila mo persist in the cells of the humans or kung asa sila na-infect, pero di sila mo kosong infection. Pwede na sila ma-reactivate Okay? Pwede silang mubalik o infect after pila kay years. That's a very, very important and unique characteristic of your herpes viride. So, take note of that. Diyan sa may mga triggers sa reactivation, ayan, natay table later for that. So, it could be stress, pwede sunlight, pwede pong trauma, pwede pong fever, and also other mga stimuli from the environment. Okay. Again, your herpes viride family has eight eight good na serotypes that can cause infection to humans. There's one lang from animals, no, from monkeys and mga primates that can infect us, and that is your herpes B virus. Your herpes uh, or herpes B virus. Or also known as your herpes semi. Uh, meaning, gikan siya sa mga monkeys, all right? And it can infect humans, all right? Pero again, dili kayo common. But once it infects humans, it can cause deadly encephalitis to humans. All right, okay. So that's for the herpes viride. Uh, before I forget the idea, sa HEPA DNA, ang atong vaccine, di ba, is made from yeast cells. Okay, so take note of that. Um, ang buhaton is sa uh, laboratory, okay, they use Saccharomyces cerevisiae, no? the baker's yeast or brewer's yeast. So take note of that. So ang Saccharomyces cerevisiae, ilahang insert tanog gene, alright, that will encode the HBSAG na antigen. Okay? And katong HBSAG, kwa ako nila from the yeast and then mutuibutang sa vaccine. Okay? Because our vaccine is, it uses the HBSAG for your uh, hepatitis B vaccination. Okay? Mu use sila og yeast cells para, again, maka, ano, og, um, sani, para maka, 
produce of HBS AG. Okay, all right. So that's for the hepatitis B vaccine lang. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I forgot to mention. Okay, so that's for the herpes viride. Again, very important characteristic. On sa to, the ability to exhibit latency. Meaning, pwede silang mo persist for a long period of time without causing any infection. All right. Now, we start first with the eight families. No, you have the HSV1 and your HSV2. Okay. All right. Now, HSV1 and HSV2, usually they are transmitted through direct contact with infected secretions. Now, ilahang cause of infection or diseases na makos are usually mga lesions, no? mga samad-samad, no? in the mouth or in the genital tract. And that's known as your herpes. No? If sa mouth, you have herpes labialis no? or gingivos tomatitis. If sa hand, it's herpes uh, whitlow and sa body, is herpes gladiatorum. And if sa, uh, if sa, sa genital tract, of course, it's genital herpes. Okay. Now, HSV-1 usually is the cause of kaning oral herpes. Pero HSV-2 pwede po. Ang genital herpes usually is caused by hep herpes simplex 2. Okay. Pero your HSV-1 can also cause genital herpes. So both of them can cause genital herpes. Pero ang pinaka-common usually is HSV-2 ang cause sa mga infection. All right. Now, another very important thing to remember which HSV-1 and 2 is, its ability to cause encephalitis. And this is usually caused by HSV-1 sa mga uh, adults and children and for HSV-2 sa mga neonates. All right. And ang um, imong encephalitis could be deadly. And and your HSV encephalitis is considered to be the most common uh, viral encephalitis, no? Or the most common cause of viral encephalitis, imuhang HSV. Okay, so take note of that. Ang imuhang HSV one and HSV two. Pero most of the time, ang cause good sa mong encephalitis sa herpes is HSV one. Okay, all right. So take note of that. Now for diagnosis, of course, cell culture. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, cell culture, of course, enzyme immunoassay, immunofluorescence, and of course, PCR. Aside from that, uh, your CPE is ballooning cytoplasm, so mo enlarge yung cytoplasm, and your cowdery type A inclusion. So, na siya sa first part sa toang lecture. Acidophilic niya na mga inclusion bodies found within the cells infected by HSV. So, that's for your herpes simplex virus 1 and 2. Again, ilahang infection, mostly mga lesions no? uh, in the body. Okay. And, um, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, excuse me. Ayan, lesions in the body, such as mga cold sores, diba? Cold sores or fever blisters. Ayan, okay. Now, usually, kana mga cold sores or fever blisters, dears, these are usually mga reactivation of HSV. Because your HSV, uh, 1 and 2, ilahang period of latency, it happens in the neurons, no? In the, dire, neurons, the pizza face, okay? So, pag reactivate nila, mo causes lag lesions during the pita. So, cold sores or uh, fever um, fever blisters. Okay. All right. Ayan. Now, for serologic procedures for your uh, HSV-1 and 2, usually, it's not indicated because there is not a significant antibody rise, uh, antibody titer rise in the in the patient. So, dili kayo siya ma-detect. No? So, it's very difficult to detect. All right. Okay. So, that's for HSV-1 and 2. What do you need to remember? Oral herpes, genital herpes. Okay. Ayan. And aside from that, latency also. Code source, fever, blisters. Okay. All right. Ayan. Take note of that. Next is, of course, the HHV3 or your varicella zoster. So, take note, ha? Your VZV or HHV3. Siya ay katulo na herpes virus. So, your varicella zoster virus, again, uh, it causes, again, your chicken pox and your shingles. No shingles ready to mingle. Chara, chaka lang. Okay. Ayan. So, for varicella zoster, varicella zoster, again, varicella is the chicken pox. Zoster is the Shingles. All right. So again, you have site of latency as a Japan, sa cranial nerves. All right. Or dorsal root. Uh, or sa mga ganglia. So sa neurons, Japan siya. Now again, on sa yahang mode of transmission, it's through close contact, personal contact, especially respiratory uh, droplets. Okay. All right. Ayan. Sige, sige. Tama. Okay, okay. All right. Sige. <laughs> now again, uh, Respiratory droplets, no respiratory droplets, or contact with the vesicles. Because again, sa chicken pox, if naka-experience na mo, mag-produce ka og mga 
uh, vesicles or rash. And the vesicles can be fluid-filled, all right? And these vesicles, can be fluid, it's full of your virions that may cause infection uh, or that may be spread, no? Or the source of infection. All right, so chicken pox, again, it's your varicella. So that's the primary infection of your VZV, okay? And uh, it's a thin walled vesicle <clears throat> with erythematous base. Meaning, iya hang vesicle kahit medyo colorless, pero ang ilalom niya kay reddish. So muna siyang dew drop on a rose petal. So, mara siya drop of water na nasa rose petal. Kay clear ang nasa taas, pero ang sa ilalom kay reddish. Erythematous. Alright. Now, itchy and leads to scratching. So, pwede na yung secondary bacterial infection kasi yung kang scratch. Now, shingles, your zoster or herpes zoster is a reactivation of the primary infection of your varicella zoster. So, after primary infection, say mo hang VCV, pwede siyang mag-site of latency, no, or mag-dormant ra siya, no, mupuyo ra siya sa imuhang neurons, okay? Now, after pila ka years, uh, because of, again, exposure to sunlight ba, stress, or whatever, ma-reactivate siya. Now, sa neurons niyang ga-infect, okay, sa neurons niyang gina-infect, mu-spread siya to the different areas sa neurons. So, usually, dirima na siya, or sa imuhang dorsal root, no? So, pag-spread niya, mu-spread siya sa areas sa imuhang skin. And dito siya mukos o mga lesions. And usually, it is painful, no? Na post-herpetic neuralgia. And it means daw that the virus is destroying the neurons, of the um of the body of the patient no during the pita and usually yahang gina cause na lesions or rash is one area lang because again this is where the neurons uh nag disseminate no or dire gikan ang neurons or dire na neurons ay yahang na infect so usara ka area sa body usaka dermatome okay ayan that's for shingles and again usually it's a reactivation in the later life na later ages mga older age na of the patient first infected with your chicken pox or VZV. Now, for detection, again, or diagnosis, isolation, FA stain, and of course, lesions are, uh, can, be, can be subjected to your chunk smear. Take note of that. So, that's the first part. Yeah, on chunk smear, mukha tag sample from the lesion, and then examine na for histological uh, processing, and then examine for mga CPE, cytopathologic effects. All right, okay. Now, another method for VCV DIRST is your um, FAMA, your fluorescent antibody two membrane antigen. So that's another um, another uh, serological test for your VCV. So take note of that. FAMA, fluorescent antibody to membrane antigen. Okay. All right. So that's for VCV. There's a vaccine for varicella zoster. Okay. Tama. All right. It's live attenuated, no? And it's it's the same schedule with the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, na vaccine. Uh, it uses the OCA, OCA strain. Ayan. Oka strain, ayan, for your vaccine. So, live attenuated siya. Okay, live attenuated na vaccine. Alright, so that's for HHV-3. Ano saan ito? Varicella zoster. Your HHV-4 is your EBV, Epstein-Barr virus. Ayan, ako, ako talaga, Epstein-Barr virus. Motor transmission is still close contact with infected saliva. Alright. Now, the disease it causes, of course, you're all familiar na, infectious mononucleosis, or also known as your kissing disease. Nako, nako talaga. Alright, okay. Ayan. Now, again, aside from that, it can also cause mga cancers. So, this is the first, a second na siya, na mga cancer-causing virus. Number one is hepatitis B. Number two, Kanisha, EBV. It can cause your Burkitt's lymphoma, uh, which is endemic in West Africa, usually it's a children's Africa. And then you also have Hodgkin's lymphoma and finally nasopharyngeal carcinoma. All right, okay. Now for lab DX, again, we use serological tests. For diagnosis of EBV, it's usually through serological tests. So again, I hope, ma remember pa tong discussion sa IS sa EBV serology, the different markers for EBV infection. And a very important characteristic of Infectious mononucleosis caused by EBV is the production of heterophil or heterophile antibodies. So what are heterophil antibodies? These are antibodies produced by the B cells of infected uh, patients with EBV. And these antibodies can react to similar antigens from different species. Meaning, these are antibodies na pwedeng mo react to the poll uh, bundle antigen usually found in animals, such as your sheep, your horse, and your um, cow, cattle. No, sheep, horse, and cattle. Ayan. Okay, so take note of that. So, pwede siyang mo-react no, to similar antigens found in animals, such as your sheep, your cow, and your uh, horse. Okay, take note of that. So, again, review na siya sa inyong IS. Hopefully, ma-remember pa. Okay, and again, another very important characteristic is the presence of atypical lymphocytes or downy 
cells. Ayan. Because again, these downy cells or atypical lymphocytes are are stimulated no, by the EBV. That's why it's called mononucleosis because there is a prevalence of these lymphocytes or mga mononuclears. That's why ihang pangalan kay infectious mononucleosis. All right. Viral culture, we need to use B lymphocytes pero medyo taxing siya and expensive so delikay siya common. And of course, you can also use PCR. All right. Pero for routine diagnosis, there is to be used serological markers. For infectious mononucleosis, of course, the most common complaint sa patient is Fatigue, kapoy ang lawas, all right. And aside from that, there is lymph adenopathy, no? Lymph adenopathy. There is splenomegaly and also extrudative pharyngitis, no? So mag magduga or na yung mag sore throat na na ay mga pus producing or na yung extrudative. So lymph adenopathy, mag enlarge mong lymph nodes. You have splenomegaly also and uh, extrudative pharyngitis, all right. Now very important to take note again, Japan with EBV is it causes cancer, no? Lymphoma, Hodgkin's. Burkitt's lymphoma, which is endemic in Africa, and also nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Sa nose, no? But take note that nasopharyngeal carcinoma is not from mga B cells or lymph nodes. It's from squamous cells. So it's a squamous cell carcinoma, imong nasopharyngeal carcinoma. All right, okay. So EBV, again, yung target good are the B lymphocytes. So na-mention natin na siya sa first part. On sa diyang receptor, CD21, which is found in your B Lymphocytes. Nako talaga. Very important. Okay. All right. Um, so that's for your EBV. Okay. All right. See. So that's for the Epstein Barr virus. Again, causing your infectious mononucleosis or also known as your kissing disease. Ngano siyang known na kissing disease because again, it can, it's transmitted through kissing. Ayan, ako sinasabi ko talaga. So very important dear siya sa mga mag-export dyan. Careful. No? Ayaw, pataka dyan. Pero you know, <laughs> di naman siya mapipigilan. <laughs> so very important lang that you know the partner. Pero nine times na wala ka kabalo. <laughs> wala ka kaila, but sige lang. Be safe, okay? <laughs> Alright, sige. That's for the EBV, no? Epstein-Barr virus. Again, it can cause Hodgkin's lymphoma. Ang so, ganito, yung pathognomonic, very press the buzzer cell na makitaan sa yung Hodgkin's lymphoma. Ang so, tingalan sa cell? Hala. Hima, kamusta tayo dyan? Okay, once a month. So, tingalan sa cell, sa Hodgkin's lymphoma, na pathognomonic, meaning it really points to your um, disease. Tingalan sa cell, your? <gasps> na house eye, ganyan yung appearance. Tingalan sa cell, sa Hodgkin's lymphoma, your? <laughs> Asa to na ni chat. Okay. Your read. Read. Read Sternberg. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All caps, Sean. Pasensya. Sorry naman. Galit ka. Okay. All right. Ayan. Your read Sternberg na cell. Very good. Okay. That's pathognomony for Hodgkin's lymphoma. All right. And again, um, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Pathognomonic, meaning it can really point to the infection. All right. So that's for your herpes, uh, for EBV. HV4. So take your mga HHV4, uh, kinsa itong mga HHV3, kinsa itong HHV5. Okay. So next sa uh, EBV, uh, pictures muna dahi, sorry. So this is the HSV na virus. Again, as you can see, it's enveloped. No? The code sore, herpetic whitlow, sa mohang hand, and genital herpes. So sa genital herpes, of course, uh, sa male, it will happen, or makitan siya sa penis, alright? Um, sa sa glands, penis, sa shaft, sa penis, alright? And for females, sa vagina, sa vulva, alright? Ayan, sige. That's for HSV, herpes simplex, simplex 1 and 2. Next, this is for your varicella zoster. So this is the virus, and this is, of course, the chicken pox, alright? So pwede ni siyang ma-fluid filled, alright? So mo, mo, ano siya, bulutong ni siya yung tagal. No? And um, yeah, that's that's contagious. And this is your shingles. Sorry. As you can see, ang shingles, naka-focus lang siya in one area, as mentioned. One dermatome. Because again, this is where the neurons, or asa ni, asa ni disseminate ang neurons, nag infect sa imuhang uh, varicella zoster as the site of latency. No? So pag reactivate niya, ni cause na siya og mga lesions in that area. Okay? Alright, so that's for your VZV, varicella zoster. And of course, your EBV. So this is the structure. I am, no, as you can see, extrudative pharyngitis. Burkitt's lymphoma, common in children in Africa. 
Hodgkin's lymphoma, ayan, and of course, nasopharyngeal carcinoma. And again, this is the first indication usually of IM, your atypical lymphocytes, or also known as your downy cells. So when you say atypical, these are reactive lymphocytes, no? Because again, of the presence of the virus. So take note again, HSV1 and 2, varicella zoster ang una, siya ang 3, CEBV si ang number 4. And your number 5 is of course, your cyto, joke pala pa din. <laughs> Markers of EBV infection, take note lang, dear, sa mga antigens, no? And then, um, yeah, mga antigens, and also heterophil antibodies. As mentioned, heterophil antibodies are antibodies that can react to antigens found on different species such as sheep, horse, or cattle, bovine. All right, ayan. And of course, for markers, on say pasabot, ani, yes, nako, nani sa IS, again, dili na ako siya i-ano na dear siya, i-intensify, <laughs> intense o discuss kay kulang tag time, actually. Nag-DNA virus pa tayo niya, hapit na 11. Shucks, my God, mga mga taroon. But anyway, ayan, sige, that's for uh, the interpretation of the markers of EBV. Okay. Now for HHV number 5 is your cytomegalo virus, the CMV. Now, your CMV is considered to be the salivary gland virus because iyahang site of latency or kung asa siya magpuyo is the salivary glands. It's again the most common, ayan, most common viral cause of congenital defects. Alright? And it's an important opportunistic pathogen in immunocompromised patients. Take note, no, CMV, di ba? It's part of your torches or torch na agents. Your torch agents, again, are causes of congenital infections. And among the torch agents, kinsa ganyan pinaka-common, you have CMV. Nako, nako. As in, preso buzzer. Alright. Now, for mode of transmission, again, it's through blood. Organ transplantation is also possible. And also, all secretions such as semen. So, therefore, it can be transmitted sexually. Alright? It can, it, it can be transmitted through blood transfusion and tissue transplants in utero, meaning if ang baby na pa sa sulod, and also by nursing, if mapatutoy ang mother. All right. Now for CMV, it's all uh, it's usually a symptomatic infection. Pero ang pinaka uh, atong gina look after good is the congenital effects. All right, because the congenital effects are usually detrimental and very devastating. Ang CMV. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now your CMV again, it can cause defects in the baby. All right. Uh, such as a lot of various congenital defects. All right. It can also cause death. No, in pa in patients, uh, in babies. No, stillborn and uh, mga fetal death. All right. Now it can also cause the failure of many kidney transplants. No. Ayan. Now for culture, uh, for diagnosis, cell culture. Again, histological CPE is your house eye inclusion, and uh, the specimen blood can be collected, body fluids and other uh, mga tissues can also be uh, included or could be collected. All right. And again, you have specimen of our culture, a cell culture of choice is your HDF, your human diploid fibroblast. Magudi yahang cell culture na ganahan. All right. Now, your CMV, muna yung alan cytomegalo because again, yahang if effect sa cell is cytomegalo. Mo enlarge ang cell. Muna ang cytomegalo virus. And sa semen, yun makita ng highest titer of your CMV. Kaysa bisag asa na body fluid sa semen, yun siya makita. Alright. That's for CMV HHV number 5. Okay. Alright. Now, very, uh, very ano lang, disadvantage lang pag culture nato dears is ang CMV mo grow siya slowly. So, iyahang, iyahang CPE kay medyo dugay makitaan. So, therefore, we offer other tests, no? Such as fluorescent staining or katong shell vial culture para mas dali. Alright. Okay. Ayan. Next is your HHV 6 and 7. So your herpes, uh, human herpes uh, 6 and 7, both of them, they cause what we call rosola or your 6th childhood disease. You're also known as your exam them, subitum or rosola and phantom. Okay, all right. Now, HHV can also cause febrile seizures in your children in the childhood and can cause uh, eosinophilia and systemic symptoms known as your dress syndrome by Taylor Swift, our favorite. And anyway, ayan, charot. Now, motor transmission is through contact, no? Via respiratory droplets. And usually, mga children ang gina-infect, age 2 to 3 years old. HHV 6A and 6B are associated with Alzheimer's disease and also chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, again, for um, diagnosis, detection of virus in peripheral blood by PCR and cell culture gapon. Iyahang gina target usually are the lymphocytes, no? That's why atong ginagamit for cell culture kay the lymphocytes. Now, your HHV 6 and 7, although they cause the same disease, ang yang antibodies na ma-produce are different gapon. Meaning, katong antibodies na ma-produce sa HHV 6, para ragyud siya sa HHV6. And katong for HHV7, para ragyud siya for HHV7. So, na dyan po yung differences in their antigenic structure. Alright, ang duwaka virus. 
And the last among the human herpes viruses is your HHV-8, which is also known as your Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus or KSHV. So take note there. Baka ang mugawa sa, sa inyong exam kay Dili HHV-8. KSHV, Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus. So very important din siya dears sa mga AIDS patient. Okay? So you have Kaposi sarcoma, again one of the opportunistic infections given sa mohang AIDS patients. All right? Now mode of transmission of your HHV8 or KSHV is your oral fluids via breast milk or semen, sexual transmission and also blood transfusion. So for diagnosis, again, PCR or in situ hybridization, and this is non-culturable, meaning lisod siya mga culture. So wala mga culture attempts. All right. Now aside from that, it also cause multicentric Castleman disease. So this is a an enlargement of the lymph node. And when you say multicentric, meaning different regions of the lymph node or different daghang lymph nodes na ma, ma infect. Okay. So that's for HHV8. Very take uh, very important lang to take note. It can cause Kaposi sarcoma, take note here, which is again an opportunistic, very important opportunistic infection in AIDS patients. All right, okay. So again, this is the third na, na virus na cause of cancer. Number one is HBV. Number two is EBV. Number three, your HHV-8 or KSHV. Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus. So we go now to pictures. Again, this is your CMV. This is a, an effect of your CMV, your microcephaly, as you can see, gamay ang ulo sa baby. And this is the cytomegalic cell, cytomegalo, cytomegalic enlarged cell with owl's eye inclusion. So basophilic na intranuclear inclusion. And this is an example of another congenital CMV infection. So this is described as blueberry muffin rash. Take note, bumar siya blueberry muffin, no? So that's the... The description. But aside from CMV, it can also be uh, seen in mga torch, the other torch na agents. Your blueberry muffin na rash. So, marasya blueberry muffin sa baby na no? so, luwi kayo. So, again, that's congenital CMV. Okay, all right. And that's for the herpes uh, viruses, no? The herpes viridae. So, here is your rosola, your sixth disease. Again, the dress, which is considered, uh, again, attributed with HHV6. And then, of course, Kaposi sarcoma, all right, which is again mga lesions sa mohang skin, all right, caused by HHV-8. And this is a type of cancer, all right, okay, ayan. And again, the summary, as you can see, asa sila mag-latency, ayan, as, as I've mentioned, HSV-1, 2, 3, again, varicella zoster, they all exhibit latency sa neuron, all right? And for EBV and your Kaposi sarcoma sa B cells, and for HHV-5, 6, and 7, asa, sa HPC, hematopoietic prog progenitor cells. All right? So take note of that. Okay, that's for the summary of your herpes viruses. All right. So, yes, okay. So that's for the herpes very day family. Now, again, si mga triggers sa reactivation of your herpes virus, di ba? As mentioned, na siya reactivation purposes or uh, na siya, pwede siya mo reactivate because na siya site of latency. Again, sa mga triggers, ultraviolet radiation, emotional stress, there's final exam, and big date. Nako, ayan. So, ang compre, that is a trigger for HSV infection. So, be careful. Sa kato ng mga naka-chicken pox, especially, and those na, na, na mga naka-experience with HSV infection before. Alright? Aside from that, menstruation, immunosuppression. So, these are some triggers. So, usually from the environment niya. Ayan. So, I don't know if naka chicken pox mo naka chicken pox na ko. Usually if maka ma, ma chicken pox na ka, usually lifelong daw ang immunity. Lifelong immunity siya. So sana naman. <laughs> Hopefully ako na lang uh, imo na lang gina, ginabantayan if na chicken naka chicken pox na ka is the shingles. So imo na lang goal is dapat dili ka magka shingles. It, it could be painful gyud as in sakit daw siya. All right? Ayan sige. So that's for the herpes Viridae. All right. Next, we go now to the Papova Viridae. And as I mentioned, your Papova Viridae is composed of two families. The old, uh, the old family before was Papova Viridae. Pero karon gi separate na siya into two families: the Papilloma Viridae and the Polyoma Viridae. Pero take note lang, ako na siyang gi, gi, gi combine Japan karon para easy ang life. Okay. So it's still under your Papova Viridae. All right. For this lecture, ayan. Papova Viridae, double stranded DNA. Wala gapon siya envelope. All right, and the very important thing lang here, especially sa papilloma, is its ability to cause cancer pa rin. So this is the fourth oncogenic virus, your papilloma viridae, your human papilloma virus. And according to Bailey, all right, and other resources, it's also known as the most prevalent STD in the world, all right, your HPV, your human papilloma 
virus. All right. Now, how do we get this? Direct contact through small breaks in the skin uh, during sexual intercourse or when the infant passes through an infected birth canal. So it's more on direct contact with the lesions. Okay. Now, for your HPV on say mga disease, of course, your HPV normally causes mga warts. Okay? Mga warts. Ayan. Or papilloma. All right? Now, very important lang is the warts or papilloma na yung ginakos, pwede siyang mo progress to cancer. Especially sa cervical, sa imuhang anal, and also penile cancer. All right. Now, almost all cervical carcinomas are caused by HPV 16 or HPV 18. So, take note of that. There's very important. Mga serotypes mga cause sa imuhang cervical cancer or cancer by HPV. Oropharyngeal squamous cell carcinoma. This is the most common HPV associated cancer. All right. Now, first neoplastic changes seen in uh, the genital tract is cervical dysplasia, meaning sa pap smear, all right, pap smear, makakita na mga abnormal cells dito. All right. Now, for culture, again, uh, for diagnosis, sorry, it's non-culturable. All right. So, lisod siya mutubo in culture. Histology of the warts, uh, there is hyperplasia of the preco cells or cells na makitan sa imuhang skin. And aside from that, there's hyperkeratosis, meaning intense imuhang keratin. All right. Now, DNA hybridization and of course, PCR analysis. All right. For HPV infection. That's why it's very important for you girls out there, again, to have your pap smear. Okay. Pap smear good is very important because that could be a helpful um, method or measure for early detection of HPV. Okay. All right. So here's an example of the lesions. No? All right. Uh, siyang cauliflower o sa high, no? Cauliflower-like. And genital warts, ayan, nakitaan usually sa ano genital, no? Sa anus, sa penis, no? All right. Usually through sex, makuha. And of course, papilloma. Papilloma or warts are usually mga benign, no? Benign growth sa ni sila. Uh, and makuha ni siya through um, laser, no? Mga curatage, kana kana mga tig offer dira sa mga ato mga dermatological uh, clinics no so makit ma mo offer na sila tang tang sa mga papilloma usually papilloma warts mga benign lang niya usually pero uh, it can cause cancer especially kung ma mabut sa imuhang genital tract okay or depende sa serotype then of HPV na naani mo that's why for females and also males advise to have a vaccine no for HPV your HPV vaccine again is known as your Gardasil all right, your Gardasil. All right, Gardasil. Uh, this is a brand name. So, na I Gardasil na uh, for Gardasil. Ang pinakaunis Gardasil 4, ang first type. And then you also have uh, the Gardasil, Gardasil 9. Ayan. Ang Gardasil 9, by the name itself, of course, uh, iyahang serotypes na ma 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 cover. 9 kabuok. But both of these vaccines, they target or pwede nila ma-target ang duha ka serotypes na makakosog cancer, you're 16 and 18, all right? Especially for sexually active na mga people. So, kanina siya na na vaccines, they are um, recommended that uh, children age 11 to 12 ang mo, mo receive ani. Because ang uh, notion is that nanasla vaccine before pa sila mahimong sexually active. Ayan. Pero again, in the Philippines, usually parang hindi naman ganyan yung concept. So, <laughs> it's... Uh, applicable na to ages uh, 15 to 45, all right? Both males and females, all right? Um, up to 45 lang because in terms of efficacy sa vaccine. So if you want to have the vaccine after 45 pa, then you have to consult na your doctor, okay? Pero ang expected lang is 15 to 45 and usually three dose ang vaccine. So you have to complete the vaccine. Gardasil 4, Gardasil 9. So of course, Gardasil 9, it offers more protection kay mas daghang serotypes ang, ang included. Kay 9 man kabuok. Okay? But again, both vaccine, it will cover na the HPV 16 and 18. The most common causes of cancers, especially sa cervix and sa penis and also sa uh, penile and cervical and also anal cancer. All right. Okay. So that's for HPV. So take note of that. No, dears, again, kamo, very, ano pa, very young, charat, same age, charat, but uh, very active. So have your vaccines niya po for HPV. Okay. All right. Ayan. So that's for your uh, human papilloma viruses. Okay. All right. So that's for your uh, HPV. Okay. All right. So uh, that's for your HPV. So here's a picture of your cervical cancer. As you can see, intense na yun. Magdugo na yung cervix. And then na yung mga additional na mga tumor-like growths. And of course, sa imuhang um, 
imuhang pap smear, imuhang lang tawag ni of course sa man, coelocytes. The coelocytes again, na uh, dako na halo and gamay na nucleus. All right? And of course, cervical dysplasia na may mga abnormal cells. All right. Now here's a summary of the serotypes, no? Uh, of your papilloma viruses. Again, 16 and 18 are very common sa mga cervical cancer and anal genital warts, no? Also na condylomata acuminata. And also 6 and 11 ang common sa mga papillomas of mga benign tumors, no? Uh, so that's why katong Gardasil 4, kani siya, ang ana is 6, 11, 16, and 18. So muna siya 4 kabuok, Gardasil 4. 6, 11, 16, and 18. Because these four caserotypes usually silang makakos o mga papillomas, mga tumors. And of course, 16 and 18, siya yun ang makakos o mga cancers. Okay? Alright. Ayan. Sige. That's for your HPV, your human papilloma virus. The fourth oncovirus. First oncovirus na to, HBV. Second, EBV. Third is your HHV8. And then number four is your HPV, human papilloma virus. All right. Okay. Next is uh, the other family of your uh, papova viridae, which is your polyoma viridae. So for the polyoma viridae, again, usually mga rare infections on isha deers, and usually ang gina target is the immunocompromised. All right, so we have two major viruses: your BK virus and your JC virus. BK virus because the first virus was uh, the virus was first isolated in a patient renal transplant patient with the initials BK. All right, and all right, sorry, wait lang. All right. And, oh my gosh, okay. And then your JC virus is known as John Cunningham virus. Still the same uh, reason, it was first isolated in a brain uh, cancer patient or brain disease patient, C. John Cunningham. That's why it's called JC virus. John Cunningham. All right. JC virus. All right. Muna siya origin. So initials na siya of the first patient kung asa ni siya na isolate. Okay. All right. So that's for your JC virus. And another uh, newly discovered virus is your Merkel cell virus, which causes car cancer. Merkel, Merkel cell carcinoma, which is a type of skin cancer na very uh, aggressive. Okay. So that's the fifth oncovirus or virus that can, that can cause cancer, your Merkel cell carcinoma. Okay. All right. Okay, sige, sige. All right, so that's for your polyoma viridae. Again, transmission, it's through spread in urine, feces, and aerosols. And both viruses, again, are ubiquitous, meaning it can be seen in humans. But again, uh, infections are more severe in the immunocompromised. So, unsay mga disease na makos, BK virus is hemorrhagic cystitis, okay? So, meaning magdugo, imuhang bladder, okay? And of course, for JC virus, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, meaning magkalisyon sa imuhang brain sa white matter sa brain. That's why it's called leukoencephalopathy. Leuko meaning white, okay? So, muna yung target. So, white matter sa imuhang brain. Therefore, imuhang JC virus can cause, again, death, especially in the immunocompromised. Okay, may affect man ang brain. Alright, okay. Now, for diagnosis, again, PCR. For BK virus, PCR, gapon, and cytologic examination of urine, you look for decoy cells or mga iyahang affected na cells. In situ, immunofluorescence and also um, immunohistochemical techniques and DNA probe analysis. All right. So that's for your polyoma, viridae. Again, the JC virus and the BK virus. All right. So again, these are really uncommon infections lang and uh, usually seen uh, intense and symptoms or complications ay muhang... Uh, imuhang immunocompromised na patients. Okay? Alright. So, that's for the polyoma viridae, the BK virus, JC virus. So, how do I remember kinsa makakos sa hemorrhagic cystitis, no? <laughs> um, usually, maglibog ko ani nila, no? Pero how do I remember na lang, basta katong PML, siya ang John Cunningham. Ang Cunningham na pinido mas daghang letters. So, therefore, siya ang makakos sa mas taas ng alan na disease. Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Yan na akong pag-remember na lang. Kaya medyo... Maglisbo ko niya. Ang hemorrhagic cystitis na ang BK virus. Pero ang JCV, Cunningham, di ba? Mas daghang letters, siya ang apelido. So, siya yung makakos sa mas daghang words na disease, your progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Alright, okay. So, that's for your papova viridae. Again, papilloma viridae and your polyoma 
Viridae. Alright. Next family is of course the Parvoviridae. Oh my God, very important then. This is considered to be the smallest among the DNA viruses. So, siya ang smallest DNA viruses. Another very important characteristic, it's single-stranded. The rest of your DNA viruses are double-stranded. Nako, very important talaga. Alright. Now, very important, asa siya mul site of latency, adult bone marrow and fetal liver cells. Meaning, dito siya sa ganaan sa mga hematopoietic cells. Dito siya mag-replicate. Ay, sorry. Alright. Now, parvovirus B19 is the most important virus. Alright. B19 because it was first isolated in a serum sample uh, na B19 ng initials. So, muna siya, parvovirus B19. Another virus is your BOCA virus, alright, and the adeno-associated viruses. Your adeno-associated viruses are non-pathogenic, and these are also used for viral vectors. Ayan. Together with adenovirus. Ayan. So, transmission, again, is through respiratory droplets and oral secretions for parvovirus B19. Our Hello, hello. Ayan. Okay. Sorry, pasensya. Nawala na po ng connection di ay. Sorry. Asa ko dapat na 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 M eh. Sa Parvo. Nakastar ka tag Parvo? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. So, asa dapat? About sa... Sa B19, sir. Dili ka madonggan, sir. Hello. Okay, ayan. Okay na. <laughs> Karina? Yes, sir. Okay. Pasensya, pasensya talaga. Oh my God. Ah, this connection is killing me. Alright, anyway. Again, going back. Again, parvovirus B19. Kung sa'yo makos. Sorry. 
Sir, wala na sa... Alright, kena na na. Gamay, sir. Gamay? Wala dyan po. Karoon na na? Or inay? Yes, sir. Kena, sir. Okay, okay siya, sir. Okay, sige. Wala dyan na na? Or inay dyan po? I think it's wrong. Teka lang ha. Let me adjust. Alright. Ayan. Meron na. Sana naman. Hindi na mo ano. Sa mukha niya kung mga devices dear sa tensya. Anyway. Okay na. Nana. Carry na. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Sige. So again, dito ka pa. Humano na ni Parvo Virus. So again, a plastic crisis. Why? Because again, you're a plastic. Ay, wala na ako na. Sorry, sorry. Patay na, patay na siya. Ino Driga. Siko ba? Okay, so na present na ako, no? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Um. Okay. Sige, madungan ako, dear. Scary lang. Or medyo hinay? Okay na, sir. Okay. Sige. So, parvovirus, again, wala pa tanawan na. Parvovirus, again, dear, take note. Again, it can cause a plastic crisis. Nga naman. Because again, remember that these that the virus can uh, infect your erythroid precursors. All right. So erythroid precursors yung gina infect. So possible yun na malays or mga matay mo ang erythroid precursors. That's why pwedeng wala na yung RBCs na makita. But again, this can be seen lang in patients already having mga hemolytic anemia or mga diseases na sa blood. All right. Now very important again is your um, fifth disease. Okay. Now, once infected in uterus, in utero, it can cause hydroxyphetalis. So, pwedeng mamatay ang fish, ang, ang bata sa sulod, still birth. Alright. Now, Boca virus is, it can cause severe or mild respiratory disease and it presents as a co-infection with RSV and human metanumovirus. Okay. Alright. Ayan. Okay. Now, it's biphasic illness because, dears, first part sa mukhang you see sa parvovirus is the fever, no? Fever, myalgia. And then, a second phase is the arthralgia or katong polyarthritis. Okay? Alright. Muna siyang biphasic. Now, for diagnosis, again, clinical presentation, serology, PCR, histology also, and virus isolation is not performed. Because again, 
uh, the virus is difficult to grow in culture. All right. So that's for, for parvovirus, B19, or parvoviridae. Again, take note, the smallest DNA virus, causative agent of your fifth disease. Iko talaga first of all, your erythema infectioso. Slapped cheek appearance. And again, aside from that, a plastic crisis. All right. In patients with hemolytic anemia and also um, other hematological disorders. All right. Okay. So that's for your uh, parvovirus. B19. So, sa mga pets ninyo, dears, diba, of course, this is a very common infection and could be deadly sa mga dogs natin and sa cats. That's why you have to have your pets uh, vaccinated against parvovirus. So, lahi ito siya na parvovirus, pero same family lang sila. Of course, those parvoviruses infect the animals or the pets. Okay. Alright. So, that's for the parvovirus. And the last family for your um, DNA virus na kung may pet. Pero ba tamang sa DNA virus? Shots. Okay. So, your fox Day. So your fox day, of course, it's the largest and the most complex among all your viruses. Among all your viruses. Ayan. Okay. Alright. So your fox day, again, the viruses na ilahang binakos are, of course, your smallpox, variola, molluscum contagioso, the orb, vaccinia, and also monkeypox. So how do we get it? Again, through respiratory secretions and droplets, all right? And direct contact with lesions and fomites, all right? Now for smallpox, again, this is your variola major, which causes uh, the higher fatality, and the variola minor, also known as alas 3, which is lesser on fatality rate niya. Of course, it starts with a rash, no? Um, and then mo develop siya into a postule, meaning na siya, ang rash kay mo, mo, mo enlarge, and then I fluid na sulod, all right? And again, of course, this was the disease that was first eradicated in the world, all right? And that is your smallpox because of vaccination, thanks to Edward Jenner. All right, <laughs> okay. Now, smallpox, again, um, it is um, a rash, no? Um, pag starts a rash, pwede siyang mo pustule, meaning night fluid. And then after pilaka days or after pilaka weeks, mo scab off, meaning matatang iyahang scab. And then simultaneous ang uh, pag-change sa lesions and from the head to toe na siya, meaning... Uh, mo change siya, uh, dungan yun na mag-change from the rash, then may mo siyang pustule, kato na nanay fluid ng sulod. Alright. Vaccine niya is the virus used for vaccination for smallpox. For orf, cowpox, and monkeypox, these are zoonoses, meaning ikan siya sa animals. Alright. And uh, usually makuha nato siya from occupational hazard. So those that are uh, caring for these animals, usually they, they appear as mga single lesions lang sa hands because dito na, nakuha ang infection or point of inoculation. And then molluscum contagiosum, again, uh, it produces mga wart-like nodules, all right? And um, muna siya yahang disease. Mukos siya mga nodular wart-like um, appearances or mga lesions. So muna different niya sa mga orb, cowpox, and monkeypox. Ang molluscum contagiosum is uh, transmitted, uh, is, it causes warts, no? Wart-like na mga nodules. All right, okay. Sige, so that's for the uh, fox uh, very day. All right. Okay. All right. Your molluscum contagiosum also, dears, take note, it can be transmitted sexually because direct contact ang um, iyahang mode transmission or pa sa fomites, mga towels, mga inala. Okay. All right. So molluscum, uh, for diagnosis, of course, electron microscopy and PCR. For molluscum contagiosum histology and uh, katulihang intranuclear bodies, the the council man body, adi, sorry, the Henderson Patterson bodies or your molluscum bodies in your histology, the mga smears, and it also cannot be grown in tissue culture. All right, so that's why culture is not performed. Okay, all right, so this is for your small box. As you can see, complex brick like, nako take note of that description, dear sa brick like conformation, ayan, and segmented yahang genome. All right, now these are the different uh, mga pox na infections. You have small pox, no. Yahang rash kim rag pox like or pox mo yung appearance mo nang small pox siya. Again, as you can see, simultaneous and daghan siya. Monkey pox is of course from monkeys. Ayan. So as you can see, um, no dios ya siya. Orf and also cow pox. So kani siya ang other katong tutoy sa cow. Okay. And then orf, as you can see, single lang siya na mga nodular lesions. Meaning, dira siya, dira siya na inoculate. Okay. Dira siya na sulod imuhang virus. So mga single nodular lesions. And for molluscum contagiosum, as you can see, wart-like na mga lesions. 
And some references call molluscum contagiosum as water warts. Okay, water warts. Because marasya na ito big sa salon. Alright? Okay, water warts. Alright. Now, here's the summary of your um, diseases associated with pox viruses. Again, variola major, smallpox. It was the first disease eradicated by humans through vaccination and all that. Uh, vaccine niya ang ginagamit for smallpox vaccination. Pero, ang vaccination magod sa smallpox virus is kaning virus, ibutang siya sa skin mismo ni mo. And then, mag-wake ka o production of postule, postule or moragatong nodule. So, it can be deadly also. So, na yung mga uh, intense side effects. No? Pwede magka-encephalitis, ang patient, or other uh, symptoms or side effects. Again, or cowpox, monkeypox, deers, these are all zoonosis. Gikan siya sa inuhang uh, mga animals. And of course, molluscum contagiosum. Again, uh, skin lesions, wart-like, no? water warts, and can be transmitted sexually. All right? Okay, ayan. So those are all for the DNA viruses. Take note, deers, papa-add po, hehe. Alright, so happy na maman kong time. So, ato na lang humanan kung sa na RNA ang kaya. And then tomorrow, atong paspasan na lang po, dears. Okay? Huwag human. Kaya medyo bye-bye pang RNA viruses. Pero we'll, ato na yung humanan yun. Okay? Alright, sige. Now for uh, the DNA virus para na last is your Iridoviridae. That's the old name. Ihang new name karon dears, is the Aspharviridae. This is the family of your African swine fever virus. Ako na siyang i-appeal kay Basinugawas, no? Kay narabay African swine fever na mga chika. Your African swine fever virus, of course, it only infects your pigs, no? African swine fever. Um, and aside from that, it, it doesn't cause infection to humans, all right? It's still important because of the economic um, problems and consequences na iyahang ginabuhat. Because again, pigs, no? Ang iyahang ginatarget. And we, we consume pigs, okay? So African swine fever virus, it's in the family Asparviridae, muna siya bago years. Iridoviridae yahang old family. Okay, alright. So that's for your uh, DNA viruses. Alright. So before we proceed to the RNA, dears, any questions? A uh, quick question lang before we proceed to RNA. My God. Again, you can't virus at no one. Anyway, just pass Okay. Alright. Sige. So for the remaining time lang, dears, ato lang i-humanan kung sa'yo humanan ito ng RNA virus. Okay. So for RNA viruses, again, because they are RNA viruses, they replicate in the cytoplasm. Because again, RNA na sila dahan, pwede nang i-direction translate kung positive sense sila or kung negative sense, i na silang gamaan o mRNA para muhi mo sa proteins. Alright. Now, your capsid again can be helical or um, icosahedral. Alright. Now, for arboviruses, take note, beers, these are the arthropod born. That's why it's called arbo, arbo, arthropod born viruses. And this is the other question sa kong board exam sa virology. The only question in virology actually. This is number one sa ko ang microbiology na exam, test paper. Ang question kay, which of the following is not an arbovirus? Ayan. Letter A, Zika. Letter B, Dengue. Letter C, Chikungunya. And then letter D, C and D. Nako. Kung saan yung answer? Ako dapat preto buzzer agad-agad. Which of the following is not an arbovirus? Virus. Letter A, Zika, B, Dengue, C, Chikungunya, and D, C, and B. So my answer? Yeah, B, sir. Ayan. Press the buzzer agad, agad. O, diba? Nanam mo one point sa boarding sign. O, diba? Always take note that C, and B is not arthropod born. Meaning, dili siya mosquito born, dili siya tick born, dili siya fly born, no? It's transmitted through sexually, uh, it's, it can be transmitted sexually, or contaminated blood or mga body fluids ang CMB. So answer ato is of course CMB. So pag pagkita na ako na question nag praise nag praise the Lord jud ko nag praise the buzzer ko. <laughs> agad agad di ba? So may mga questions na namo sa board here so take note of that. That the only virology question ni gawas ako boarding na. Okay, okay, number 1, number 1 dito siya I can remember. All right. Okay. Now um your arboviruses and sa family sa RNA viruses the Bunya viridae the toga viridae and the flappy viridae. The smallest RNA viruses are the pico RNA viridae, which is your again the enterovirus, and the largest among the RNA virus is the paramyxo viridae. The naked kita to mga walang envelope C pico RNA, kalisi and bio viridae. And of course, uh, unsa niya sa echo? It's enteric, cytopathic, human orphan, and for rio, respiratory enteric orphan. Ano siyang itawag na orphan? It's because 
these viruses were, were first discovered before associating them with any disease. So, mas nauna sila discover uh, ang virus itself, wala pa disease na nakita. Because, because usually, ang viruses were discovered from the disease. No? But kaning Echo and, uh, and Rio, they were first discovered ang viruses before the disease. Okay? So, that's why it's called Orphan. Alright, ayan, sige. Now, for again, it, ato ang flowchart, take note, in sa mga envelope, positive sense, no? All negative sense RNA deers, ayan. All negative sense RNA viruses are envelope. So, kinsa na sila? Arena, bunya, filo, ortho, para, and rapto. Okay? And uh, for positive sense RNA, kinsa itong mga unenvelope, kalisi, and pico-RNA. So, na-mention na din kinsa itong mga naked. So, tulo na sila kamo. PCR, pico-RNA, kalisi, and reuviridate. The rest is envelope na. Alright? Okay, I guess. So that's for the general characteristics of RNA viruses. Ang RNA viruses yun ang pinakadaghan compared sa DNA. Diba? Kabantay mo ganina, papa ad po hehe ra. That's why I mentioned na pag memorize na ni mo sa papa ad po hehe, okay na ka. Because ang papa ad po hehe, sila rin bilang DNA. Outside of that, are RNA already. So, ipangutanan mo which of the following is a DNA virus, press the buzzer, papa ad po hehe. So, lantawa na dahil ang mga papa ad po hehe. Alright. So, very, uh, one advice lang, dears, para sa viro talaga, is you have to memorize na lang dyan. Or kung asa na family makita ng virus. Kung kanin siya na virus ni sama na family, is it RNA ba or DNA? So, kaya na siya mga basics, yung fundamentals na kailangan na itong memorize sa viro. Okay? Kanin siya na virus, na example, ang imuhang mumps, asa man yun ang family, is it paramixo or tomixo or sa DNA virus ba siya? So, muna siya kailangan i- isa ulo and i master sa viro. Okay? Alright. So we start first with the first RNA virus, your Arena viridae. So Arena viridae usually is uh, a family that consists of the hemorrhagic fevers na viruses. Alright. So Arena viridae, it's enveloped, ayan, irregular, pleomorphic, ang iyahang shape, and single-stranded iyahang RNA genome. And the viruses, again, very important. These are the viruses that can cause hemorrhagic fever. Ayan. So example, Lassa fever. Alright? You have the Machupo and the Junin virus. Ang Junin virus was the first to be discovered na arena virus to call fever. Lassa, Machupo, uh, Junin. It's, yahang name is kung asa siya unang nakita na lugar. Okay? Your Lassa, your Machupo, and Junin. Alright. So these are hemorrhagic fevers. Now transmission, they are not arbo ha? They are not arthroborn but rather they are from rodents, okay, from rats. Ang excretions sa mohang rats, no? Um, example, my aerosolize, yahang urine, yahang body secretions, dito nato siya makuha. So it's from the contamination of uh, human, tama, human uh, environment with rodent urine, all right? And again, uh, virus enters through inhalation. So if aerosolize ang urine sa rats, ayan, that contains the virus, dito nato makuha ang infection. So LCM, your lymphocytic choriomeningitis, it can cause aseptic meningitis, no? Meningitis type of disease, and there may have been, they, they may have lesions in the CNS. Your Lassa fever, which is endemic to West Africa, Japan, uh, again, it can cause hemorrhagic fever. So we say hemorrhagic fever, it's a multi-system um, disease, no? Na ma-affect ang imuhang internal organs, which can lead to bleeding, all right? So there is coagulopathy, kataki, uh, visceral hemorrhage, cardiac damage, pero walay lesions sa CNS. Alright? Okay, that's for Lassa fever or Lassa encephalitis, hemorrhagic fever. Alright. Now, for diagnosis, again, it's through serology and PCR. Throat specimens can yield arena virus. Uh, urine specimens can be used for Lassa fever. And again, take note, kailangan siya og BSL, BSL3 for LCM and BSL4 for the Lassa fever and hemorrhagic fever na viruses. Because again, the BSL-4, or kanyang mga hemorrhagic fever viruses, they cause severe na mga diseases. Whereas your LCM, usually, uh, medyo dili lang siya severe. Okay, that's why pwede na siya BSL-3. Alright? Pero highly contagious, very dangerous for isolation. That's why kailangan siya og BSL-3 or BSL-4 na isolation facilities. Alright? So take note, that's for your... Uh, I sorry. That's for your <laughs> arena VDD. <laughs> okay, alright. That's for arena... Viride, the first of your um, RNA uh, virus. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sige, sige. That's for your arena virus, your arena viride na family. Okay. Next is your uh, bunya viride. <laughs> so, kanila ma-punish ma the dears, guys. 
ako ang place mga kung asa ko puyo kay medyo sounds like sa bunya every day that's why makatawa ko I, makatawa ko i-mention yung Bunya Viriday. Okay, alright. Anyway, Bunya Viriday because again, it's from, it was first isolated in Bunya Muera in Uganda. Okay, Bunya Muera, Bunya Muera in Uganda. Okay, uh, sa Africa. Okay, Bun, Bunya Muera, Bunya Muera sa Africa. That's why it's called Bunya Day. All right. Now your bunya very day again. It's uh, enveloped. All right. Segmented single-stranded RNA genome. Now this is another family, the first family of viruses. Kung asa daghang arbo virus. Take note here sa arbo virus, the arthropod-born na viruses. And usually the arbo viruses cause encephalitis. Ayan. Okay. Encephalitis. No. Asa brain. All right. Now, example of that is the lacrosse virus. Aside from that, it also has the family that are non-arthropod born, which are the Hanta viruses. And this include the sin nombre virus, or no name, sin nombre virus. Kanisha, dears, ang Rift Valley and Crimean Congo, take note, dears, these are arthropod born. Nabutan ako direct appeal, pero arthropod born niya, dears, na ang Rift Valley and Crimean Congo. Ang non-arthropod born na good ani is the Hanta virus. So, kinsa na mga arthropods, mos mosquito, we're ticks, sand fly vectors. And again, Hanta viruses, uh, they are not arthropod born. Rather, they are zoonosis. And asa nikan gyapon? Sa rats. Ayan. So, rodents gyapon, uh, rodent hosts for their excretions. Alright? And usually, ang, ang reservoir host ana is your deer mouse. Okay? Deer mouse. Alright. Ang kanisa yung mga arena viriday deers is the multi-mami rats. So, yung multi-mamate, daghan siyang boobs. No, daghan siyang mami. Daghan siyang uh, tutoy para sa iyang mga babies. No? It's more than 12. Ayan. Multi-mamate rats. Okay. That's for the reservoir or the host of your arena viriday. But for bunya viriday, it's the deer mouse. Especially for the hanta viruses. Okay? Alright. Now, for diseases, of course, it can cause encephalitis. So, mag-inflame mo ang brain. This is caused by the lacrosse virus and California encephalitis ng mga viruses. Alright? Uh, it's found usually in children and develops in summer. That's why it's called the summer flu or summer cold. Ayan. Hemorrhagic fevers, of course, it's caused by the other arboviruses such as Rift Valley fever. Um, again, same show with your arena bleeding. Na petiki, petiki, you have bleeding also, internal bleeding. Crimean Congo um, hemorrhagic fever is, of course, it infects the liver. Ayan. And it may lead to high mortality and bleeding also may occur. All right. Now, hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, HPS, this is uh, caused by your sin nombre virus. Your sin nombre virus or iyahang translation sa sin nombre is no name because it was first discovered in New Mexico, dito ng Gapita, and it was originally called the Muerto Canyon uh, virus. No? Muerto Canyon uh, virus. Muerto Canyon. Pero it was later uh, rechanged or revert siya balik to sin nombre. No name virus. Ayan. Mas siya siya paminahon actually. Sin nombre virus. Now, yung ginakos is your Hanta virus pulmonary syndrome. So, it's a pulmonary syndrome na intense ang symptoms. It can lead to tachycardia and also shock. And may also lead to DIC uh, in, in severe cases. Alright. Now, another cause, another disease is the hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome or HFRS. This is caused by the other Hanta viruses aside from sin nombre virus. So aside from HPS, it will add kidney failure to it. So it could be deadly. Pero ang HPS ang mas deadly compared to your HFRS. Alright? Your Hanta pulmonary syndrome caused by your sin nombre virus. Alright. Now for diagnosis, RT-PCR pa rin ang accepted method for identifying the Bunia viruses. Serology for IgM and IgG. ELISA to detect antigens. Immunohistochemistry also is a sensitive method uh, to detect your antigens, Hanta viral antigens, imuhang, capillary, endothelium, and virus isolation is difficult. All right, so major difficult to grow in culture. All right, so in pictures, ayan, this is the sin nombre virus, the lacrosse virus. All right, ayan, again envelope siya, and you have the Hanta virus pulmonary syndrome. All right, so gikan siya sa rats gyapon from feces or from urine na aerosolized and then inhale ni siya. All right. Now again, this is the table for the bunya viruses na mga cause of disease. 
you have again <laughs> the hantavirus ang hantavirus is the genus no under bunya viridae so hantavirus again uh siya ang non arthropod born okay again it can cause it can be transmitted through aerosolized secretions of your rats okay so again it it divide into old world and new world a new world na dira si sin nombre so siya maka cause sa hantavirus pulmonary syndrome ang old virus ni uh, old world ni mo is caused by hantaan virus um na pa mga soul virus like soul good south korea soul virus you also have uh oh, let me write this is the old world uh, old world na mga viruses you have the soul virus you have the dobrava virus and the puumala virus so these are mga areas kung asa sila nakuha una so soul ayan soul do dobrava and the puumala viruses these are viruses found in the old world uh, hantaan na mga virus o old world hanta virus ayan so uh, again sila ang maka sa imuhang hrfrs hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome all right so old world because mas common sila sa europe and asia diba muna siya old world and new world si nombre is common sa mga central america south america okay all right so that's for the bunya viridae all right so that's for bunya viridae funny jo kay bunya viridae years as in mo katawa all right okay <laughs> sige that's for your bunya viridae very important to take note years the ganchang arbo viruses the ganchang arthropod born viruses all right okay sige the next family is your kalisi viridae ayan your kalisi viridae again it's non enveloped ayan so direction ng capsid all right it's resistant to heat drying and a lot of your um uh detergents why because again it's non enveloped diretso na sa capsid and we have mentioned na if capsid na ganid ayon it's very resistant to detergents and a lot of environmental uh abuses or environmental changes all right then very important viruses the norovirus or originally called the norwalk virus you know norwalk because it was first discovered in norwalk ohio ayan all right this is considered to be the most common cause of infectious gastroenteritis in the us it accounts for greater than 80% of non bacterial and greater than 50% of food borne outbreaks in countries all right another virus is your saporo virus uh, which has a cup shaped morphology and of course hepatitis e virus pero take note ang hepatitis e virus na nasa separate na family your hepe viridae pero ako sa included eh, para easy na ang life okay so iyang old ang hepatitis e virus it is originally found in kalisi viridae pero giri classify siya into another family known as the hepe viridae all right both of them or tanan sila again fecal oral route especially from contaminated food and water all right or also food from vomitus Okay. For noroviruses, again, gastroenteritis yun. Outbreaks of gastroenteritis from a common source such as shellfish, salad, raspberries, and food service. So, magka-outbreaks usually from um, a food handler na hugaw kamot, alright? So, like proper hygiene, dito siya nag-cause of infection. Alright. And very important, it can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps. And please take note, outbreaks in a lot of areas such as schools, colleges, nursing homes, families, cruise ships na po my god. Basta cruise ships gan din outbreaks press the buzzer agad agad norovirus. Aside from that, resort areas and summer camp. So as you can see, these are areas usually na daghang tawo, all right? So mas easy mo spread sa mot na if wala proper hand hygiene. Aside from that, these are areas na nay mga food handling na mga personnel such as sa cruise ship, sa mga resorts no, mga summer camps. So if nay usa ka cook dito or tignutog pagkaon na walay tarong na hand hygiene and then nasa yung norovirus so pwede niya mabutang sa food all right that's why common ang outbreaks dito all right okay basta gani out nursing homes um cruise ships nako nako talaga that is norovirus all right next your sapo virus uh also another sapporo virus because it was first discovered in sapporo japan sapo virus still the same infection with norovirus pero mas common siya in infants and toddlers na children all right now for hev hepatitis e virus similar infection with hepatitis a so na acute infection in ana pero possible siya 
na maka-proceed to ano adily death sorry <laughs> similar sa with hepatitis A virus infection pero ang difference lang is extraordinarily high uh, fatality rate among pregnant women ako take note of that fears but what you have to remember lang with HIV high fatality rate in pregnant women take note of that high fatality rate in pregnant women hepatitis E so same regard for show with same disease with hepatitis A pero ang difference lang is your HEV again has high fatality rate in pregnant women all right okay now for diagnosis your noroviruses cannot be grown in culture all right so therefore we opt for microscopy electron microscopy RT PCR also and for sapo viruses do the same electron microscopy RT PCR and immunologic methods for hepatitis A we diagnose that through serological test ELISA all right using detecting antibodies IgG and IgM all right, so here's the picture, no? Your norovirus, again, uh, non-enveloped, all right? Sapo virus and your hepatitis C your virus, all right? So take note of that. That's for the Khaleesi uh, Viridae, all right? Now, your HEV, again, was first discovered by a Russian physician who volunteered to drink, no? Stool filtrates from a patient of unknown cause of hepatitis. So, my patient na hepatitis and then, ang iyahang tayo, di ba nga nung gihimong filtrate, no? And then, giinom sa yung Russian physician. Yeah. Wala ka hulo kung kung sa'yo, wala gi-mention ang name, pero siya ang nakadiscover sa hepatitis E virus. So, dapat di ka ang name, no? Okay, my God, grabe ang sacrifice sa Russian physician. <laughs> so, siya ang nakadiscover ato. Alright? HEV under the Khaleesi Viridae. Alright? And the last family for today, beers, ah, yeah. The very, the very popular pag the the Corona uh, Viridae. Now, for Corona Viridae, uh, again, nasa pangalan na, um, iyahang structure, iyahang appearance, mara siyang naay, corona-like uh, projections because of its spike proteins, no? So, mara siyang naay halo na siya'y crown. Alright. Now, characteristic, single-stranded, RNA genome, helical capsid with envelope. Again, the viruses, your coronaviruses. Um, your coronaviruses are normal, your normal causative agents of the common cold, no? Second, actually, to your rhinoviruses, pero longer incubation period lang. Pero very important to take note lang with your coronavirus is that it can cause pandemics, no? Epidemics. So a very good example is the SARS-CoV-1, of course, in 2003. SARS-CoV-2, which is what we are experiencing now, yes, and the MERS-CoV, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronaviruses. All of these are zoonoses. You can sila sa animals. Because again, they can tolerate 37 degrees Celsius na body temperature. The normal coronaviruses, they can only tolerate 33 degrees Celsius. That's why they like the nose. They measure boob now, there is a nose. All right? But the SARS-CoV, MERS-CoV, uh, they can tolerate 37 degrees Celsius. So therefore, they are zoonoses because the coronaviruses of animals can tolerate high temperatures, such as the body temperature. All right? Now, for SARS-CoV, according to specify, uh, the horseshoe bats were primarily considered to be the reservoir hosts. All right? And they target the epithelial cells of the respiratory tract and, of course, transmitted from person to person through droplets, contact, uh, direct contact, or airborne. All right? Ayan. Now, again, transmission person to person by contaminated respiratory secretions. Um, and for diseases, again, common cold give ng coronavirus tears. All right? Um, it's second to rhinoviruses uh, na makos of common cold. Um, and it's longer incubation. So, mas dugay siya na pagka codes. Aside from that, it can also cause gastroenteritis in children. Okay, in children. Uh, it can also cause pneumonia, alright? Or it may uh, aggravate yahang pasamutan, ang imuhang asthma, or ang imuhang mga underlying diseases na sa lungs. Alright? And it may also cause outbreaks in the winter and spring. Alright? Now, we go na to the two major, kanya sa akong focus there, the two major pandemics caused by um, your coronavirus. The first one is, of course, SARS. The first SARS uh, last 2002-2003, all right? So the SARS, of course, same show with your COVID-19 karon. Um, it can also cause um, respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, uh, mag breathe, no? Uh, mag tachycardia po, all right? And um, it was postulated to be a coronavirus that started from the bats, all right? Um, yeah, from the bats, and then niyato siya sa saivet cat. And then ang coronavirus sa saivet cat ni jump. To humans, all right. We jump to humans, and it did to na cause of infection, all right. And um, of course, similar with the COVID nineteen, it can also infect a lot of other 
body system, such as your liver, digestive tract, CNS, bone marrow, and even the heart. Okay, so gikan siya sa Saivet ka. Because again, asa siya gikan sa China, Gapon, Guangdong province. Because again, they have a lot of live markets, no? Of live animals there in their uh, city, in their in the country. No, they hang live markets of animals. All right, that's why pwede jo ma maka makakuha, maka-acquire ang humans of viruses from the animals. Now, MERSCO, this is in uh, Middle East, no? It came from bats, Japan, and camels. Kaya kang camels dito. Alright? Ayan. So, it causes respiratory distress syndrome, 50% mortality rate. And again, most of the cases are centered lang in the Arabian Peninsula. Alright. Now, laboratory tests for diagnosis, again, uh, RT-PCR, a recommended method, electron microscopy, cell culture, uh, Mugrosha in Vero E6 cell line, BSL3 or higher ang kailangan. Because again, it can be contagious. All right. And um, virus isolation, culture is difficult. All right. So again, that for coronaviruses, ayan, as you can see, nasa spike proteins. So marasag na ay crown, no? Corona. Ayan. So this is for SARS CoV 1, SARS CoV 2, and the MERS CoV. All right. And these are the different spike proteins na kailangan sa imuhang. Uh, coronavirus and kung unsiyang ginabuhat. No? So, for nasa hemagglutinin, for hemagglutination, uh, the the E1 matrix protein for transmembrane um, ability, all right, and for uh, binding to host cells or fusion activity, the E2 protein. Ayan. So, this is the structure of your coronavirus. All right. Okay. Before I proceed, so last na lang yun, no? So, SARS-CoV, no? Uh, SARS, uh, first SARS, it was, it was, um, mitigated because again of intense na mga uh, procedures no intense public health measures na quarantine gap po nag isolation no and because of that uh, during that time daling natangtang ang SARS no first SARS ang MERS ko um, although nasa epidemic wala siya ni pandemic because again um, limited lang siya sa Imuhang Arabian Peninsula because makuha siya sa camels no direct contact from camels and wala may camels sa tanang areas in the world di ba <laughs> and aside from that, medyo lisod siya ma-spread. Dili siya na naka-infectious uh, or dili siya na nakadali mo spread. And like your SARS-CoV-2, uh, that's why nagka-pandemic to this because pas-pas kayo siya spread And usually these two diseases, SARS-CoV-2 and Mer uh, SARS-CoV, katong first na SARS, and MERS-CoV, um, uh, infectious sa ang patient if na na symptoms. Ang SARS-CoV-2, your COVID-19, infectious ang patient even if asymptomatic siya. That's why pas-pas kayo siya, dali kayo siyang spread all right? That's why it caused the pandemic. And um, for SARS-CoV-2, it was believed to be coming from bats, Japan, horseshoe bats, and then na intermediate uh, host or animal, which was believed to be pangolins, mga pangolins, animals pa rin. And then from pangolins, ang, uh, ni jump na po siya to uh, humans, all right? And as I can Japan sa China. That's why according to Bailey, Patricia Till, uh, since the start, uh, the outbreak of the first SARS-CoV, live markets, of animals, no? Nagya po sa China. And these could be possible sources of viral strains that may emerge in the future. This was in 2017 or early books pag year 2013. And look at where we are now. <laughs> yes, that is COVID-19. So wala dyan na sa UFC, Patricia Till. Okay? Na ano din niya, dears? Na predict din niya that girl, Patricia Till, my God. Sana masaya ka ngayon. Charo, check ka lang. Ayan. So that's true, no? Because again, um, because of the practices of humans, that's why makuha tayo mga viruses, no? And although murag, makain ka na murag sa lagi sa China, ganun sila, ganun sila mukha ko ng bat, ganun sila mukha ko ng kabog na, <laughs> na raw, or ganun sila na yung mga live markets. Um, everywhere, no, uh, we have practices of eating live animals. We have practices of buying live animals. So, uh, there kind of chances uh, of getting viruses from animals, especially mga wild animals, such as what happened in SARS-CoV-2. Uh, pero in China, daghan mong kayo dito. Good. Daghan kayo silang uh, live markets of animals dito. That's why easy lang to jump ang um, one virus from the animal to humans and to cause mga new strains of viruses such as what happened in SARS-CoV-2. Alright? SARS-CoV-2. Alright? So, um, sa labas sa China, partly. Alright? <laughs> pero, masala sa itong lugar. Okay? Charot. Amen. Okay, charot. Amen. Amen. Okay. So that's for your SARS-CoV-2, uh, the Corona VDD. All right. So take note of that years. No, um, COVID-19. Lahi siya na discussion kay mas daghan pang chika dito. All right. And wala pa kay established with mga resources. So if napatay time, we'll have a discussion on that. All right. But for now, ayan. 
Uh, Dire na takuto. Yes, for today. Oh my God. Abi na kung mahuma na to today. Pero sige lang. Medyo kulang ang time. Pero sige, we'll end lang tomorrow. At kung huma nun kung sa ito makaya tomorrow. Okay. Alright. So, uh, before we end, dears, any questions? Any clarifications? 